the knife fundamental principle. Naam, among the fundamental principles of Al-Sunnah al Jama'a, when presenting arguments, is that they follow that which is found in the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, both inwardly and outwardly. They follow that which all of the companions were upon, the Muhajirun and the Ansar, and, and they specifically follow whatever the rightly guided Khulafa radiyallahu anhum were upon. As the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said in the Hadith, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al Khulafa al Rashidin al Mahdiyin Azzu alayha bin Nawajid wa iyyakum. Akhir al Hadith, naam. So stick to my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifa. They do not give any precedence to the speech of anyone over the speech of Allah. Naam, no one, there is not any kalam, any speech overtake the speech of Allah and His Messenger alayhi salatu salam. Naam. Naam. And that is, that is why they have been called the people of the book and the sunnah. Naam. Ahl kitabi wa sunnah. Naam. After the book of Allah and the sunnah of His Messenger alayhi salatu salam, they take that which is the scholars of this ummah have agreed upon. This is the third foundation that they, are, they, 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 that they rely upon after the, uh, the first two foundations, which are the book and the sunnah. Whatever the people differ concerning, then they return it back to the book and the sunnah, implementing the speech of Allah. If you define anything, the meaning of the verse, if you define anything, refer it to Allah and His Messenger. Refer it to Allah and His Messenger. If you believe in Allah and His and the last day, that is better and more suitable for final determination. Naam. So this is the, the way of Allah and Jama'ah. And they do not believe the individual other than the Messenger of Allah. So they, 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 they do not believe that any individual other than the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is infallible. Naam, we don't believe Abu Bakr is infallible, or Umar is infallible, or Uthman. No. There's no one infallible after the Messenger of Allah, alayhi salatu wa salam. Naam. So, uh, and they are not... And uh, they do not blind follow to the opinion, or they, they, they follow any, to the opinion of anyone, unless it is in accordance with the book and the sunnah. So if an alim comes with the qawl, we don't follow him because he just said it, no. We follow if that qawl, that speech, is been derived from the Quran and the sunnah, and in line with the Quran and the sunnah, and the principles of the Quran and the sunnah, and the principle of the salaf, how understood the Quran and the sunnah. Uh, naam. Uh, They, be, they believe that the mujtahid, a scholar qualified to make ishtihad, can make mistake and can be correct. And they do not permit anyone to make ishtihad unless they have fulfilled the conditions that are well known to the people of knowledge. Well, that is true. Like sometimes speakers corner once, I was walking past one brother. He, this brother asking the other brother about a big issue. Issue of a fiqh. Like the issue that he was asking and he, was, he wanted to ask me as well. I said, Akhi, may Allah have mercy upon the person that knows his limits. This issue needs ulama mujtahideen, Akhi. Refer it to the ulama. It's not for you or for me to speak about these issues. But you know, it's because, Akhi, kullu man habba wa lab. As I say, habba wa dab. I'm sorry. Habba wa dab. Every khayt I bet I speak. Naam, Allah al-Afu al-Afiyya. They don't know where to stop. They can be, it's because, you see Ibn Taymiyyah there, Ibn Hazm al-Zairi there, everyone. Allah al-Musta'an. I'm speaking about big issue. Look what Sheikh Fawzan said. No, they don't permit. This Ahl Sunnah Jama'ah. They don't allow it. They don't, if you see someone claiming to be Sunni and you see him speaking about big issues without even mentioning any scholars, no, there's something wrong. That is not Sahibu Sunnah. Sahibu Sunnah know his limits. Does not speak about big issues without quoting scholars. Naam? No, just say my, my opinion, I think, my, uh, you know, uh, the way I look at it. Naam? 
So uh, the, the ishtihad for the ulama who are qualified to do ishtihad. Then the Sheikh said, look, in areas where ishtihad, independent reasoning is permitted, there should be no criticism and different in such issues of ishtihad should not cause enmity and boycotting to appear amongst them as done by the 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 blind followers and the people of innovation now meaning the issues of ishtihad for example the issues of ishtihad some scholars said taswir is haram recording is not permissible some scholars said it's permissible now because the hadith that is speaking about Swir is not speaking about Swir of recording the cameras. The likes of Sheikh Salah al Luhaydi mentioned that, Sheikh Salah al Sheikh, Sheikh uh, Ahmad uh, al Ansari, and the other scholars. Naam. Some scholars said no. So Al Sunnah would not boycott each other because of this issue. Naam. Or we start refuting each other because of this issue. Naam. Ah, that person is misguided. Why? Because it's been recorded. Or the other one says, ah, the, other, the other person is misguided. Why? Because he doesn't want to be recorded. No. If the both uh, group have قول and if, uh, there's a strong argument there, then there is no uh, a criticism in that. نعم? Except if the person are following his desires. نعم? Uh, so we don't boycott each other or appear uh, 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 and uh, insult one another. As done by the people who? The blind followers. Like a person, I'm a Hanafi. Even if you show him the proof, go and guess what the Hanaf hold. He doesn't care. He said, no, I'm going to blind follow my imam. Likewise, Maliki, or a Hanbali, or a Shafi'i, or a Zahiri. No. Naam. All those imma we love, we highly respect, but we do not blind follow them. We do not understand the reputation against those who, there was an issue about, he speaks about the scholars. That, you know, of course, that non-Muslim guy, the, the people didn't know how to explain to him why we have to go back to scholars. He thought it's like, a, a, how you say? It's like a, Illuminati scholars like you know they have to they have to dictate to us what we should do. Now, even it goes no, they, 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 they have to as the Shafi was mentioned clearly here. Their kalam has to, their speech has to be in line with the Quran and the Sunnah and in line with the principles of the Salaf, which Allah and His Messenger told us to follow. Rather, they should love, support, and pray behind one another. Even though they differ in some subjuries, uh, subjuries issues, naam, some branches, naam. this is in opposition to the people of innovation. For verily they show enmity or declare to be stray or declare to be disbelievers, those who oppose them in these matters. Naam, some people are extreme in following madhab or suffix. Naam. So we talk about fiqh issues. In aqidah, the belief in the usul of aqidah, Ahl Sunnah agrees. The usul of principles. Naam, do agree, all of us Ahl Sunnah agree. Naam, but in the branches, like fiqh issues, the hadith is not that clear, you can understand it this way, that way, then alhamdulillah, there is no harm with that. That occurred even at the time Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when Prophet gave a commandment to some Sahaba, some Sahaba understood it this way, some Sahaba understood it that way, Prophet Sallallahu he did not rebuke none of them. Because that, both of them, that what they done was right. Naam. Now, so here we finish the principles of Al-Sunnah al-Jama'ah.